Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, February the 14th. It's the sixth week after the Epiphany and week six in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 97 and 99, and Isaiah 63, verse 7 through 14. Now please join me in singing verse 4 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We are God's people, we God's care. Our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we rear? Almighty Maker to your name. Open my lips. My mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Hallelujah. Psalms 97 and 99. And please recite them with me. Hallelujah, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you. Righteousness and judgment are the foundations of your throne. A fire goes before you and burns up the enemies round about. <clears throat> your lightnings light up the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at your presence, at the presence of the God of all the earth. The heavens declare your righteousness and all the people see your glory. Confounded are they that serve carved images that delight in idols. Worship God, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. For you are high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. All that love you hate evil. You preserve the souls of the saints, and you deliver them from the hands of the wicked. And light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright of heart. Rejoice in God Most High, all righteous people. Give thanks for God's holiness. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Let the people tremble. You sit beneath the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. You are great in Zion, and you are high above all the people. Let them praise your great and terrible name, for it is holy. O oh, mighty lover of justice, you establish equity. You execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All you people exalt God most high and worship at God's feet, for our God is holy. Moses and Aaron were among God's priests, and Samuel among them that called upon God's name. They called upon God most high, and God answered them. And God spoke to them in the cloudy pillar. They kept God's testimonies and the ordinance that God gave them. You answered them, O beloved God. You forgave them, though you took vengeance of their evil deeds. Exalt God most high and worship at God's holy hill, for our God is holy. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 63, beginning at verse 7. I will recount the kind works of the Lord the praises of the Most High. For all that the Most High has wrought for us, the vast bounty to the house of Israel, that he bestowed upon them according to his mercy and his great kindness. He thought, surely they are my people, children who will not play false. So he was their deliverer. In all their troubles he was troubled and the angel of his presence 
delivered them. In his love and pity, he himself redeemed them, raised them, and exalted them all the days of old. But they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. Then he became their enemy and himself made war against them. Then they remembered the ancient days, him who pulled his people out of the water. Where is he who brought them up from the sea, along with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he who put in their midst his Holy Spirit, who made his glorious arm march at the right hand of Moses, who divided the waters before them to make himself a name for all time? who led them through the deeps so that they did not stumble, as a horse in a desert, like a beast descending to the plain. T'was the Spirit of the Most High gave them rest. Thus did you shepherd your people to win for yourself a glorious name. Here ends the lesson. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. You love justice and establish equity for your people and for the nations of the earth, almighty God. We exalt you with our tongues and we worship you in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.